A new danger may be looming on the horizon. At least, that's what Senegalese fishermen fear. The offshore gas terminal, visible through the morning mist, cloaking the Atlantic Ocean where Senegal meets Mauritania, is the threat. The launch of gas production is expected to start next year. As it draws closer, the Secretary General of the Fishing Union braces for the worst, meaning the end of any fishing activity in the area. Cohabitation is impossible. Once gas extraction begins, it will mean death for St. Louis's fishing sector. Because St. Louis is the capital of fishing, if you take into account the number of boats in St. Louis, the types of fishing found in St. Louis, they exist nowhere else. But the fishing area is very small. It is practically stuck between the mouth of the river and the border with Mauritania, where there are coast guards who've already killed 19 fishermen. Lately, seafarers have seen their catch dwindle. The authorities stepped up their control over the offshore platform, and the security perimeter has been set up to the great displeasure of fishermen who say the area is precisely where the most fish is found. The gas project has also drawn criticism from environmental groups. No one can deny that resource exploitation has and will continue to have impacts on our environment. There will also be social impacts, and when you see the communities that live next to where the resources will be exploited, especially here in the fishing village of Gendar in St. Louis, we feel people are concerned. We see the discrepancy between the billions that we are told will come from the extraction of offshore gas and the poverty that you can see around you. Senegal's gas discoveries account for 0.5 percent of the world reserves, but the country's energy and oil minister said they were important enough to radically change the economy and industrial fabric of the nation.